Uh, what kind of anthologies uh, do you release or you, you put out there? So I, I'm partnered up with AC Adams. Uh, she is a, a sapphic fantasy romance author. And so, so an unlikely partnership, but she came to me a few years ago uh, after the first book in the cast of Diverse came out. And she was like, I love the characters. And we became friends. And now that she's an author as well, um, we work together to put out anthologies as well as I edit her books. Um, yeah. And, and it's a, so this spring one is a collection of 14 romantic origins stories. So how, how a relationship gets started. And there are fantasy stories in there that there are science fiction because of course I had to contribute to it. Um, Actually, there are a couple of really good science fiction stories in there. That, like I said, fantasy. There's uh, contemporary. There's paranormal. So, pretty much, you know, whatever, you know, whatever genre you like in the broader category of romance, there's something in there for you. And that's going to be going wide. It's not going to be locked into Amazon. Interesting. Um, now, I, I, are you a self-publishing author yourself, or? have through your own imprint or are you have a publishing deal with somebody like a big publisher? So technically I am a hybrid author, uh, but most of my, most of my stuff is out as self-published. Uh, yeah, I, I have stories in a couple of anthologies that have come out from small presses. So hence the hybrid part. But primarily, I am a self-published author. I mean, to me, that just sounds like, hey, I've had some some big people do some marketing work for me. <laughs> to, to to a degree, to a degree, um, you know, and, and you know, there there are names out there. You know, I'm not going to name drop, but if once you're in the author community, it's a very supportive community. It's you know, especially the indie author community. You know, because we're, we're all in it together. We're not competing with each other. So we turn around and we help each other out. I, I've yet to talk to anyone through the course of doing this show that wasn't willing to talk to other offers and share what knowledge they have. Like everyone is definitely very excited to share what they've learned. M most people, like, if, if no, one, no one has given me the idea that they feel like anyone is competition necessarily. It's just someone else with something to say, and I want to help them do that. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, you know, my experience is different from somebody else's, and so we can both learn from each other. No, abs absolutely. Um, so when you went into this, did you, did you decide to self-publish? Obviously, you said you have had some experience with publishers and anthologies, or... Was it something that you just that was your only real option if you wanted to publish your, your your work in large format? The the first book in the Cassidy Chronicles um, has a little bit of an interesting history because the originally it was going to be four novellas, and I had I had the whole plot pretty well laid out in my head, and I wrote the first novella, and released it on Amazon. So this is 10 years ago. All right. So if back when self-publishing was just getting started, um, at least in any practical sense. So I released the first novella. I wrote the second one, released that one. Got started writing the third one. And then life happened. And seven years later, I'd written about another 6,000 words in it. And having done pretty much nothing else with writing during that time. So, yeah, uh, uh, 10 out of 10 do not recommend leaving writing for seven years. Uh, terrible, terrible idea. Because when I came back to it, I read the first novella, read the second one, read what I had written in the third one, and then realized I had no idea where I was going with it. <laughs> <laughs> I had totally blanked on what the fourth novella was, where the plot was going, any of that. Gone. History. Like it never happened. So I had to come up with a new ending. And I did. But at that point, 
the the third one, which was only supposed to be 25,000 words, ended up closer to 60,000 words, but there wasn't a good place to split it. So I ended up saying, you know, and, and since the first two thirds were already out and they had been wide, for, you know, they'd been out there for, at that point, seven years, there's no way a traditional publisher would touch it. You know, it, it was, it was, it was out there. So that first one, I ended up putting it all together into one volume, you know, smoothing out all the details and sanding down all the seams and uh, making it a novel and release that self-published. Uh, and that's where I've been going ever since because I enjoy being the one, you know, I'm responsible for what's in it. I'm responsible for the cover, you know, finding the right designer, um, you know, doing doing all of it. And I enjoy holding on to that control. I enjoy, you know, being the one saying, okay, yes, I want this cover. 